So you might have noticed that this week we took delivery of our Red Paddle Co. Sups and handily they fit down into these really nice bags, they're inflatable ones, uh, which is perfect for us because we're going to take a couple along with us. Uh, but they blow up to around 12 foot 6 long and they're really sturdy as well. So that's what we're going to do today is head down uh, to the Whitewater Centre and find out you know, how long they take to pump up, uh, how hard they are to pump up, apparently they're, they're pretty easy, and what kind of cargo we can fit onto them as well. Apparently you can fit three adults on one of these Explorer boards uh, and cargo as well. So we need to take some science cargo with us, obviously clothes and tents and stuff like that. So we're going to see how much stuff we can fit on, how many people we can fit on. We're going to have one each rather than three on the one board. Uh, but it's a bit of a trial to see you know, the logistics of having inflatable paddle boards that we have to we only have to pump up once but then top it up as we go along as well and how we can maintain them on the way down the seven. Myself, by the end of the trip, I want, wanted to do it in a minute. To be pumping. Well, half of a car tire, 15 psi. Car tires normally 30 psi or thereabouts. You're pumping that into a, a paddle board, which is a hand pump. Fairly impressive. This pump can pump that much air into one of these, and normally you'd have a machine to help you with the car tire. It's not bad, 5 minutes 17 seconds, pump 220 litres. I think it's more to do with the fact that I'm really strong rather than pretty easy. And it feels, it feels really solid at this point, and that's just air inside there. I'm gonna clean it like this every day. I get the feeling they're not gonna look like this when we're finished. I don't think you went too slowly. 